It's hard to imagine what the great American prairies must have looked like when Lewis and Clark first crossed them back in the early 1800s. But even today, there's still a few small patches that have never seen a plow or a harvester. Now a group called the American Prairie Foundation is working to make sure these small patches have a chance to grow. From the last ice age 20,000 years ago to the 20th century, a truly wild west existed in Montana. A vast open space home to thundering herds of bison, a place rich in the diversity of nature, an enormous ecosystem with nature in balance. Now the American Prairie Foundation is working to restore that balance. They've established the American Prairie Reserve, a home for wildlife in a unique area of the plains. Here, due to good stewardship by local landowners, millions of acres of prairie were never plowed. Today, the land remains largely intact. The American Prairie Foundation, or APF, has acquired more than 100,000 acres of this land to reestablish depleted wildlife populations, preserve the native prairie, and provide lasting economic benefits to the people who live here. But that's just the beginning. In time, they hope to add another three million acres to the reserve, making it the largest wildlife complex ever assembled in the lower 48 states. What we dream about is having something that's so large that you know you can see 40 or 50 miles and even beyond the horizon, there's another 30 or 40 miles of almost nothing except the natural world operating the way it does. With the help of the World Wildlife Fund, they're restoring and conserving the native prairie and its wildlife. One of our main goals is to bring back the wildlife and maintain the access for the public. Perhaps no species is as emblematic of the North American grasslands as the plains bison. In the early 19th century, European explorers often described their population as innumerable. Today, bison in the United States exist mostly in small fenced herds, where they are generally raised like cattle. Finding source animals for the American Prairie Reserve is challenging. Due to cross-breeding with livestock, most of the 500,000 bison alive today contain cattle genes. We looked all around North America for a source for genetically pure bison. What we found is there's precious few. In 2005, they acquired a small, very special herd of non-hybridized bison from South Dakota's Wind Cave National Park. Coming down! They were loaded in trucks and shipped 800 miles to the reserve. A year later, the first offspring were born, free of cattle genes, just like their parents. The APF plans to bring back as many prairie species as they can, creating what's been described as the Serengeti of North America. What I'd like to see is a herd of thousands of bison across the horizon, a diversity of bird life, more bird life than we've ever seen out here before, golden eagles soaring, all the grassland birds here. I'd like to see a, a town of prairie dogs that stretches over the horizon again, like they used to and a lot of black-footed ferrets you, can, you go out and spot at night, the green eye shine, and a lot of people enjoying it, enjoying what was once here and saying, wow, we're really happy this was all brought back. And as the wildlife returns, the local economy may benefit as well. This big wildlife amenity and agriculture can coexist very well here and create a uh, much more diversified economy. We're hiring locally, buying locally. More people are beginning to visit the area to see the birds, the bison, things like that, bringing economic activity. So we think the net positive effect is really beginning to show. Today, the American Prairie Reserve is open to visitors of all ages. 
They even host prairie safaris. Uh, come with your attention and your enthusiasm. We just very much appreciate it. I hope in a, in a bigger, more symbolic way, it gives people inspiration that really big things can still be done in this day and age. You just have to dream big. The prairie, it's a symbol of the American West, brought back in a big way. A home where the buffalo can roam once more.